Ariel Helwan is out there. A lot of the time he's posting and tweeting like he's an expert on everything, but he knows nothing. He's putting feelers out there because that's what he wants to do. That's his badge of honor. He likes to break news. If I hear of a situation, I'm not doing investigative journalism, <laughs> trying to find out like my life depends on it and I will risk everything so I can be the one to break it because who gives a f and it's none of your business. What will be will f be. Stay out of it, you prick. Michael Bisping, who I see him talking about me with such vitriol, with such animosity, with such hatred, where he's talking about like, it's none of my business. And I just, I'm dying to know and I'm dying to be first. Well, hopefully the video that I posted of me walking outside at 2.30 would refute that, dying to be first. The idea that it's none of my business, it's quite literally my business to be reporting and be in the know. That's journalism. And he says like, I'm not trying to be some investigative journalist. Yeah, I know you're not trying to be some investigative journalist. You're a slap fighting commentator. You're a bootlicker. You're, you're a former bad boy who became a bootlicker who wants to stay in good standing and has realized, like the likes of Ali Abdelaziz, that it's better for you and your career in your pocket and more power to you to be on Dana's good side. So if he could see these clips, he'll be like, good on you, Mike. And so you have chosen to pick a fight with me or to discredit me in order to curry favor with your boss who gives you a few quid to commentate and be excited about slap fighting. To me, it's shameful. It's embarrassing. And that's why I refer to him as bootlicker bisping now. And he can say whatever the fuck he wants about me.